Hola amigos, hola amigas, Dorian here from Hoovalux. Welcome, bienvenido, croissui, assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the channel. Howdy y'all. Chest, the Akshamash. So this is the second in our videos here with Ben. Hello, Ben. Hi. 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 Uh, I've invited him up um, to do some videos. No, actually, he invited himself. Uh, I just was, I was asleep actually, and there was a knock at the door, and I was like, why is there a ginger vehicle in my driveway? And I thought, oh, it's Ben. So, hi, Ben. <laughs> so, no, that's not true, actually. So, Ben has brought some vacuums. As you saw, we unboxed the DC-01 in the previous video. This is the uh, Siebel Felix Dart, is it? Dart yeah, 1. Yeah, Dart 1. Yeah. So, it has he... less features. So, it hasn't got... It's only got on-off. Ah, uh, yes. And you can't adjust the height of the... You can't adjust the height. Right, and okay. um, the power head... Uh, the brushes are constantly on. You've got no button to turn the oh, brush right. roll on and off. Ah. So um, yeah, it's got no, yeah, no suction control either. Because I, I just love the Siebel Felix. I absolutely adore it. And the one that I have that you've seen in a couple of videos, the the first one that I bought, which was the body and the head, and there was problems with the electrics. It was the same as this. It was a dart. But um, then I bought another body, which was the, um, the the Felix, sorry. So the body was was dart, but the head was fine, but the body wasn't working. Then the other one I bought, which was the Felix, where the body was fine, but the there was no head with it. So I swapped it around, if you know what I mean. And it works really well. I absolutely love my Felix. I, it's one of my top favorite vacuums because I find it goes down really low, it can do underneath, the brush roll head, the on and off, I, I love it. I like this, but I find that it loses suction quite easily, mm. especially with uh, a lot of dog hair oh, yeah, okay. and high traffic areas, because I used to use this for my cleaning business, which I don't have anymore, um, so it's been battered, abused, dropped downstairs, threw in the back of the van, <laughs> yeah. um, hoovered up, God knows what, rocks, glass, you name it, it's gone through it. It's never blocked, no, because um, the suction channels and everything on it and the hose is quite a reasonable size. However, bag starts to get half full, it will start to smell and it used to reduce in suction quite a bit, right. which um, was a bit of a drawback. I did use a Kirby for a little while, yeah. but it was too heavy, too much yeah, effort yeah. with um, attachments, hose and everything else. Yeah. And it was too much to take a Henry and a Kirby out of the van at so the same time. Stick, um, so what did you use? I invest, well, I invested in this oh, yeah, the, uh, in time. Um, and then uh, since I've uh, stopped the cleaning business, I haven't, I haven't really used it anymore. But um, it absolutely stinks of dogs. Yeah, well that um, would be. Um, I don't. I don't even know if I will be able to get it out because I imagine it's gone right through the motor and then. Yeah, possibly. Well, so what we're going to do today is we've got the cover and um, in the wash, on a low wash on a. It's on a ultra delicate with no spin, so it should be all right. I trust you. Don't worry. You look like you're trying to reassure me. Yeah, I'm trying to reassure. You. <laughs> <laughs> don't really know how it's going to turn out, but it's in the washing machine with a curly bag. We're ready bag. for a dollhouse this time. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, a mini version of it. Uh, so we'll give it a wash anyway and see how it goes. We will give this a good clean up. We've stripped most of it anyway. I'm going to concentrate on cleaning this part of it. Ben's going to concentrate on cleaning that. I've got some scrubbers. Uh, I've got three scrubbers uh, to help me with this. And um, I've also got some of this as well. So that will help cool. me doing the scrubby scrubby. Right, so I'm not going to move the camera forward. You can stay there and we're going to be talking away and whatever, blah, 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 whilst we clean these up. So probably there will be a lot of banter, but we've got to keep it clean. Shame, shame. Hmm. That we ain't keeping it clean. No, we are keeping it clean. Right. Okay. Let's crack on. So Ben's gonna clean that. I'm gonna start cleaning the body because it's filthy. Um. Yeah. Go on. <laughs> I'll, I'll swap. Yeah. That's that. That's that. Oh, this needs to be wrung up drier. Picky. Ooh. Right. So I'm gonna spray some of this on it. 
Bearing in mind, mm -hmm. this has never been serviced, never been cleaned. All it's ever had was bag changes. Terrible, aren't they? No, the, when I was cleaning up my one of this, I did find that the carbon dust on this goes yeah, absolutely really bad. everywhere. I don't think that um, exhaust filter is a good idea, personally. Well, it's just such a big exhaust filter. <laughs> I don't really think that they thought it through. Especially for a commercial vacuum. Yeah, <clears throat> I prefer using sort of like the X1 uh, as a commercial or the specific See, commercial when had, vacuum cleaner. When I had an X1, which I sold, which I wish I'd kept it, but when I had one, I found that to be exactly the same. Really? Reduce, re, yeah, reduce suction when the bag was about half full. And when it was full and I packed it, um, it gets to the point where it wouldn't pick up any anything that was slightly heavy. Oh, right. And you just hear it constantly going round and round and round the brush roll. Thanks. But they do, these do, they are they are quite robust, I have to say. The only thing is the handle's got a little bit of play in it. Oh, right. Ah, yes, I can see that. Because the it's got no suction control on it. This is loose. Oh, yeah, I know. I tried to tighten it up, but it's, it's broken inside. Uh... Because it's got no suction control, it will just lock down on a rug. Yes. And then you struggle to push it. But I do like I do like using this, and these are one of my favourite vacuums. My carbon dust gets everywhere on the inside of this. The, I just um, think that they could have put a little bit more thought into that. The fi the filters on it, the filter cover, they are really expensive. Yeah, I know. Really expensive. Thirty quid. At least some of them are more expensive than more um, unusual ones. Where's the other? Oh, I'll just use that. Do you want that? That's great. Because I actually thought to myself, I'll jazz it up a bit. Yes, Union and Jack. Or yeah, something. yeah, yeah. But then, um, actually, no, tell a lie. I say it hasn't been serviced or whatnot. Um, it's had new filters and it's had. Yeah, the new outer filter, the exhaust filter, because the other one was that caked. I do like the colour of it. I think it's a bit boring and grey. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I swapped for the, for the orange and purple kind of like 1970s yeah, wallpaper a bit design. Jazzy. Because um, the other one was torn, there was nothing to, I could do, I needed to replace it, so I thought, oh, stuff it, I'm going to replace it with something that I like. And I like that one. Uh, let me just, actually, do you want to put the bucket in the middle? Mm -hmm. Thank you, Jim. So I'm just going to keep scrubbing on this plastic. To get the marks off it. Actually, I think I've got a cloth down here not too wetly. It's got a fair few gouges here. Well, it's been but used. I mean, how long did you use it for? On the, you know, as three a, years as yeah, a commercial yeah. vacuum. That's pretty good, I have to say. It never gave me a day of trouble. It's always been really reliable. That's good now. It's never had a, uh, a new brush roll. That's the original brush roll that came with it. But then I only paid, I think it was 200 quid for it. Brand new? Yeah. Wow. But only come with a crevice tool. It didn't come with anything else. No, I had to buy the tool separate for mine. But I only paid £20 for the body. Is that it? Yeah. So today we've got the garage door open because the weather is so nice today, it's fantastic. 
and Hubby Lex has just nipped off Happy to Lex. get us some lunch and he's gone to Subway. So we are having a foot long for lunch. Oh. Mm. I said a foot long, not six inches. Oh. oh yeah. So we have a couple of fans as well we should mention. Noel likes our videos. Uncle oh, okay. Nolly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he likes our videos. Um, you've got a couple of fans, actually. Have that one? Yeah, I don't understand why. I don't get I just don't see it. Oh, I see why. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm in them. <laughs> so would you recommend doing a collaboration video with me? To the viewers. Would I? Yeah. Do you have a laugh? Well... Do you have a laugh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do. Say yes! I do. I would so, highly recommend it. If anyone wants to, uh, anyone with um, you know, a passion or an interest in Vax, so that's a collector or not a, not even a collector. Just a bit, yeah. Yeah. Um, definitely recommend coming and doing a, a video with Dorian. We'll Aww, have a good laugh. And I'll pay him with the subway later. Yeah, so Ian was here yesterday, one of the, my subscribers and enthusiasts. Uh, he came and spent the day with us. And the video went on last night, because this isn't going to come out until the last week of July. Because I'm quite advanced with my videos. You are at the minute. Yeah, I know. Wait, pumping three them out. a week, pumping them out. I know that I've been a bit slack. Um, I haven't done very many, but then it's not its not really my thing. I mean, I, I know No, exactly. And I've, I think... I feel a bit bad because people have like seen the videos that I have put up yeah. and then made requests and I haven't fulfilled them. So apologies. But the thing about I will it get is, round to it. But. It's kind of like you enjoy... You, you like vacuums, you like Kirby's, you like the Dysons. But, you know, you don't have to be one of those people that sort of like gets involved with the community or I ain't got time for all those clicky bitches and forums <laughs> and stuff it's kind of like you just want to sort of like do it at your own pace which is absolutely fine yeah we're doing it it's all right like, I like to come and do like a video yeah. um, with you um, I haven't got the confidence um, to necessarily do an in-depth of my own um, the confidence of what though? Knowledge. No, confidence in what? I'm full of knowledge. <laughs> it's not knowledge or full I'm lacking. Full of bull! <laughs> <laughs> knowledge is fine, girl. <laughs> um, I don't know, I don't really know what it is. I notice that I say erm a lot. Especially, uh, and I'm not one of them people that I don't, I, I don't like to watch the videos back um, on myself because I'm very self-critical. But I always say so. So, I've just done it. <laughs> so, I've just done that. So, here yeah, but I we don't are. Pick up, I don't pick up on that don't whenever you? I watch your videos, no. See, I don't mind watching my videos back, but I don't actually see them. It's really weird. I don't see them as myself. I really? just see them at this, as this really hunky, bare, ginger, gorgeous guy doing videos on, t on TV. Oh, shit. So, that's how I see myself. <laughs> Delusional. <laughs> <laughs> This girl needs help. <laughs> I need help. That, no, that's why I don't have any mirrors in my house. She cracked them all. I got a portrait in the attic. <laughs> God, it's ugly. All right, I'm all done. Really? Yeah, pass me the brush roll and I'll give that a wipe over and take the hair off it. Right, so, that, so I've done the outside of this. Seems... This looks really good now, I have to say. What I'm going to do is give the inside a bit of a wipe over now. So I'm going to use the same cloth. I don't want it wet. I'm just going to... Just like it moist. Just a bit moist. Yeah. Just so I can pick up... Do you like washing machines? I don't like my own. <laughs> no? <laughs> no, it's crap. <laughs> what have you got? LG. I, the thing about it is it's I too like small. the LG. I it's like too the... small and I ran a cleaner through it and everything and my washing doesn't come out smelling like it used to. Oh, right. 
Um, I even googled, I don't know whether I should have done it, but um, I did, and I put a, a small amount of bleach in the drum and ran it on a boil cycle, like a yeah. 95 um, cycle, to just to try and eliminate any but germs, you, smells, do you and it use, did work for yes. about three washes. But do you use a hot wash frequently when you're washing anything? Yeah, towels and bedding. But on a, on a, on a white hot 60, 70 degree wash? No, I wash all my clothes on a 40. <laughs> See, that's the thing, you should do at no, least one wash. No, no, not your clothes, but oh. your bedding or, or white towels or whatever. Yeah, uh, towels are normally, uh, every so often I put them on a really hot wash. Because um, since, I'll, I'll tell you what I, what, what I was told, and I, I can vouch for this, that it does work, is all my towels and stuff are white, so they always go on a hot wash, and I only use powder. You don't put Lenore in or anything in? I, do, I use Lenore and stuff, but I, I, I do put a little bit of Lenore in, even though you're not supposed to with towels, I don't, it doesn't bother me. Um, I don't find that my towels stop becoming absorbent, but I only use powder when I'm doing the hot wash, and, I, and then for the other cooler washes, that's when I will use Tide Pods. Oh, okay. Or Aerial Pods or whatever. And Tide in American? Um, yeah, but I got them in my Tide Pod box. I'm trying to I'm trying to big myself up here by Tide Pods for the American audience. <laughs> These are my Tide Pods. I use my Tide Pods, and then I make sandwiches out of my Tide Pods. Well, it's actually in America. I got hooked on the in America. They're called Downy Unstoppables. In here, they're the Lenore equivalent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, exactly the same thing. But yeah, my. Um, when I saved my auntie, she was like, oh, you need to put these in with your wash. Yeah. They smell amazing. Yeah, they do. But I do definitely think, and it might sound stupid, but then any washing machine enthusiast might actually tell me I'm right, bigger the drum, better the wash. Because in America, obviously, they are huge. Huge. So I find that the bigger the drum, the better the wash and the fresher that they smell when they're done. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. washing doesn't smell anything like it did in America. And I'm using exactly the same detergent, yeah. and stoppables, and dryer sheets. Yeah. And it still doesn't smell like it did better. I think it's got more room to move. Well, yeah, because my washing machine is um, it's an 11 kilo. So it, it's, yeah, it's got like a an eight. drum. And I do find that I do put more clothes in, obviously, because it's a bigger drum, but I don't necessarily, like, pack it up. No, I, don't, I normally half, three quarters, max. Yeah. I, I leave a good that in the drum. But the one thing I can around. recommend is, on hot washes, use powder, because the powder eliminates all the buildup of scum that's left by liquid. So don't use powder, don't use liquid. So you should use a powder for your hot washes, and that will, that's a, that will clean the machine. Absolutely, I swear on my oh, life. Okay. Try it. Absolutely. That's all done. I, I can because so my Aqualtis was starting to make good what left it? My my hot point Aqualtis oh, washing okay. machine was starting to make noises and what someone like? recommended oh. like like a grindy noise. Not grinder, grindy. grinder. Um and I switched to, to doing what I do now and after a couple of weeks the machine stopped making the noise and I have absolutely no problems at all. No problems, no problems to smell. But I always leave my drawer open a bit and the door open a bit, all the time. To air it? To air it, all the time. Okay. And that will stop the smell build up. I do want a new bigger machine though. Yeah. And apparently, there's a big difference in top fill. I personally so my don't in like America top says. fill. I don't like top load washers, because I use that Speed Queen and I just, number one, I didn't find the cycle long enough. I didn't, I just didn't like it. Oh. But that's just by nation, really, because we just prefer front loaders over here. Yeah, she's got front loader now. Oh, she? Yeah. Hers are LG, I think. They're like a massive spaceship. But again, do that with the washes, do a hot wash, use powder for the hot washes, if you don't like using powder all the time. And, the only thing with powder is it's a bit like glue pee and... No, not if you're doing it on a hot wash. Because it dissolves it yeah. better. It does. Plug it in, girl. Right, so let's test this.
What well, about? Not about as bad as it was. <laughs> what we'll do when we put it all back Squirt together. Squirt a bit of air and throw it while it's on. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what we'll do I've is before, I've got some works. baking powder, so yeah, we yeah. will vacuum up some baking powder, Hopefully and that should it illuminate. Yeah. Illuminate. Uh, um, eliminate. Eliminate. Illuminate. Can't mm. speak. Blue. Blue. I'm sweating like a snow cone in Phoenix. Right. So we got the body clean. We got that clean. What's next to clean? They need a wipe over the bands. That needs a wipe over. Brush roll is cleaned. That is just that's clean. Do the Hoover. Yeah, doesn't doesn't actually smell too doggy. I can just smell the um, air freshener. Have you got a flathead screwdriver? I do. To fit in the crack. To fit in the crack. So I do this a lot. Put the screwdriver on the end. Yeah, it's brilliant. Part, yeah. yeah, and get into the grooves. Yeah. Said Madonna. What you got to do? Wise words, this. Your love to me. Get into the groove. Oh, you got to prove your love to me. It's been a long while without lunch. Yeah, yes, isn't it? Come on, chop, chop. Maria, traiga almuerzo. Tengo hambre. Rapido. Rapido. <laughs> Not rapido. Oh, that's next door. We're just shouting at next door. <laughs> Did you clean these? No. Oh. We did not one. No, I've done this one. This one's got... Uh, oh, this? Got, that one got paint on it. This one. Yeah. I went snap all right? Uh no, but I actually could give that a scrub in. Let me put this little cock one. There's something sticky in this house. I don't know what that is. <laughs> I think it was when I hoovered up a load of glass and it went down the side of um car seat because I had to smash the window on one of the vans to get uh, in it because it locked, locked itself with the keys inside. Oh, oh look at that. Right, that's that one done. How about this one? This one okay? Uh, it could do with the scrubbing possibly. I could do with this. With my intestines sometimes, I feel like I could just take them out and just give them a good wash. I've got a clone in there. Uh, yeah. That looks good. Does all that stuff come off? Yeah. Oh, good. Nothing's vacuuming. So we got that one done, that's done. That's done. That's done. That's done. That's done. That looks good. Are we using Hetty? Ah, uh, yeah. Cool. Ah, uh, right. That's not these. So I'm going to put a little bit of lubrication down into here. And I'm going to put a little bit of lubrication down into here. Here, here, here. Put the brush roll back in. <laughs> oh, that's better. Right, I'm gonna go oh, to okay. the. Got it, got it, got it. Got it. Right, I'm gonna go to the washing machine and I'm gonna get the thing and we'll see how it turned out. Back in a sec. Okay, so we've taken the filter out of the washing machine. 
and it survived. It survived, apart from that little corner there. But that was already not... broken, I think. Oh, was it? Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll glue that before we put it back together. Now to dry it quick because I didn't put it on spin. Um, see though that big blue towel over there. This one. Yep. Yeah. Dankeschön. If I lay this out, lay this on top, and I'm going to roll it tight. Squeeze it. Don't break the bench, you don't know your own strength. I don't know my own strength. These guns. There we go, look at that, it's practically dry now. So we'll just hang that up on the line for, oh, I don't know, just 20 minutes or so while we yeah, have yeah. lunch. Um, that will be dry, and then we can put it all together and we'll give it a test. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know, we're all the same. Yeah, that's fine, I'll just text it to you. All right, cheers, bye. Sorry about that, everyone. I was just uh, on a very important business phone call. You can come in now, assistant, please. Well, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> right, so we've had lunch and we've taken all our phone calls on our 1980s <laughs> car phones. Uh, let's get this back together. So I have washed the uh, filter on it. I washed it inside a bra bag. Mm. And... Um, I did it on an ultra delicate wash with no spin and then you saw then what I did with wrapping it up in a towel put it up to, to dry and it is now nice and clean this part is broken off so I'm going to put this part into it first and then hopefully when I wrap it around that just part overlap will, it. Yeah, will hold it into place. See this is the bit I always struggle with with these because they never seem big enough to actually wrap around on it. Um, that bit. Yeah. <laughs> It smells nice. I put the um, air compressor through it as well, and that pulled out uh, a bit of dust. Dust, anybody? Dust? Dust. No dust. And, uh, See, you can never get them to meet. And then we'll just get they just don't like each other. Tucked in. Yeah, that holds itself in that very well. It's a two-person job. This is really oh, going definitely. wrong. I've just got no one at home that loves me enough to do it. <laughs> <laughs> or in your life. <laughs> oh! He went there. <laughs> is, that, is it in? Well, the bottom bit isn't. No, it's not. It's, it's, it's right. stuck it's out, but again. it's going to annoy me. This is why the other bit's ripped, because I lost my rag with it. Are we in? Aftermarket shit. It is. No, it's not really it? aftermarket. It's genuine part. This. <laughs> <laughs> this will cover a one seer thing. Who cares about a bit of carbon, carbon leakage? Yeah, exactly. There we go. Beautiful. Uh, that can go in the bottom. That reminds me of like the old Electroluxes, they're always very yeah. fiddly to put in. <laughs> Bag. Ho. 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 Oh, do you know what she hasn't had? Brush roll. Demon shine. No, we'll do that now. Dorian actually got me like addicted to the stuff. I just demon shine my way around the house. I had a message from a guy called Charlie Padfield. He <laughs> he went and got some demon shine as well, and he was demon shining everything. It is really just Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sorry, sorry, <laughs> didn't mean to get it in your eyes. <laughs> I mean, I know it's a bit of a 
a, a crappy dull colour anyway, but... Oh, I don't say that. Bless her, she's got feelings. Exactly. Well, that looks a heck of a lot better than when you brought it in. I just hope it smells a bit nicer. I don't think it will initially, I think it will take a while. Okay, I don't want it then. <laughs> this machine is currently for sale. <laughs> <laughs> this machine is currently in the bin. Right, let's switch it on, let's have a look. No, it smells fine. Okay. She's too powerful for her own good. But she does smell nice. Yeah. It really, really does smell a heck of a lot nicer. Right, let's get it on the floor and we'll give it a demo. Okay, so Ben's got it all plugged in. Let's give it a go. Lifting up the carpet. Well, that's on setting four. Yeah. Which is obviously it's got Which is pretty again, good. Yeah, the brush rolls on it. On mine, I always have it on higher. What's that? Three? Four. Back to four, yeah. Yep. really good and there's no bad smell no not at all i think put in the compressor yeah it definitely blasted out the motor, a lot of there was quite a bit of dust that came out of it and i think just got rid of a lot of the crap in it to be honest so and cleaning the filter and everything i think a lot of it was stuck to the filter yeah. material and washing it so all i can smell is fabric softener mm -hmm. and the uh, thing Cool, right, we'll get this up on the bench and we'll finish off the SIBO Dart video. So there we go, this is the SIBO Dart 1, cleaned up and fully working as it should do now. Poor thing. So, are you going to treat it a little bit better now? I will now, yeah. Oh. It probably then... won't even get used all that often. The only thing I really used to use it for was uh, pre vacuuming before carpet cleaning. Oh, yeah, it was yeah. really, it's good really for good that. for that. And also end of tenancy cleans, because most people take their sofas out 
and don't, yeah. I haven't cleaned underneath them for ages no. and the Since amount of crap them. and big objects and stuff and it just used to eat the lot mm. used to just gobble it I do I am glad that I do have the one where I can turn off the brush roll and adjust the suction, uh, suction on it because I use it quite a bit for dusting because the dusting attachment tool to it is really good yeah so I do use the dusting bit a lot when I'm using it. I find it really effective. I love the dusting brush because it's got that pointy end to it. Yeah, you can get all in the corners. Yeah, into the corners when I'm doing the bookcases and stuff. And Scott's I think I one. Star Trek collection. It's really good for doing that. Because, I mean, all this came with was a crevice tool. Mm. Um, because it's, uh, you know, advertised and used as a commercial cleaner, it comes with less features. And um, less colour. <laughs> and less colour. <laughs> it's orange at the back. Yeah. Um, uh, which is a bit of a downside, but then I was looking at paying nearly double the price for a mm. Felix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just for two added features, really, um, and extra tools. But um, it did everything that I wanted it to do. The only thing that uh, we both agreed on, didn't we, is mm. when it's running, Yeah. it gets really hot. Yeah, I was worried. I'm glad it's not just mine that does that. <laughs> no. I, I thought it was they, mine. They, yeah, they all do it. Um, especially, so, working on hot day, Cleaning a customer's set of stairs with that sat next to you while you're on the stairs. Blowing out like a hairdryer. Yeah. You just ended up What wattage dripping. is it? Uh, uh, it is 175 watts for the head. And where's the wattage sticker for? It's on the inside. Just those bolts. Oh. So if anyone's able to tell us. Oh, I know what it is. Where? Hang on, I think, if you lift this up, how do you lift this up again? Does it say that? Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh, God. <laughs> I remember. Okay. Ta da 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 Thousand watts. So, yeah, it's a thousand watts. So, it's not massively powerful motor, is it, really? No. Not compared to when it was out. No. But it does do a good job. So, is a Felix the same motor? Thousand. No, I think they're 1200 aren't they? I can't remember what my one is to be honest but the thing about it is when you want to go and change this you can actually give it a bit of color yeah then I think that would look look a lot better I mean we've Even saved if, like, it. the standard blue one yeah definitely yeah yeah the blue one would make it look nice quite like this box though I like it but it's kind of like it looks a little it. bit clinical doesn't it the yeah, whole color it, scheme of it, it does look very kind of commercial do you know what I mean? Like the Ensign Stealth. Yeah. Compared to um, the other ones. So anyway, there we go. That is that video over and done with. We've cleaned this up and given it a new lease of life for a little bit longer yet. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please comment, like and subscribe. And we will see you very soon in another video. And Ben will be back very soon to do another video with us. So bye y'all. Bye.